Hello Scorpio, this is your reading, your you versus them reading for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what was going on with you guys here recently. That one to flip. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe some of you have um, just re recently broken up with someone. Uh, somebody that you felt like you know you could have a family with, you could have a life with that um, you thought was going to be fulfilling. Some of you have um, just gotten into relationships actually and um, you, you feel like this could lead to, to something really significant here. For those of you who have just gotten into relationships, let's see what is um, going on with the person that you're thinking about. What has been going on with the person that you're thinking about? Two of Swords, being very indecisive, really not knowing if, you know, this relationship is for them, not knowing if they did the right thing, if um, you guys broke up. I feel like it was it was amicable though, like, you know, there was really no arguing, any fighting or anything like that, but um, maybe, you know, just agreeing to just separate here. Let's see what's keeping you from them. The Queen of Cups. Maybe somebody just wasn't all in. Um, not giving you all of the emotional um, support that you feel like you deserve, you needed in your life. Um, maybe they, you know, you felt like they were kind of doing things half-assed even, you know. Um, but at the same time, you feel like this person is very loving, very caring. You just don't know if they were all in with you. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Just keeping them from Scorpio. Ten of Wands. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of things that this person feels like um, they need as far as a partnership is concerned. Okay, and I feel that there's a lot, of, lot that they will not accept. Okay. And I think they kind of went back and forth about, and they still go back and forth, you know, about if they can actually, um, you know, be in a relationship with you. And it can be something that, you know, both of you can, you know, participate in that they will have like, you know, they won't be the one that's carrying all the weight on their shoulders. They don't want to be in a relationship and feel like they're by themselves here. Okay. So... I think you guys are kind of feeling the same way about each other, um, but I think this person has probably been scorned. They've been burned, and there there's a lot that they have dealt with before, okay? And I feel like, you know, if they're the ones that are, you feel like are not, like, giving you everything that you need emotionally is because they gave way too much of themselves before and they're really trying to avoid that is what I'm getting here okay let's see what's coming in for you guys let's see what's coming in for Scorpio what's coming in for Scorpio seven of cups hmm. um, I feel like you guys will definitely have options for sure in love um, but I think there's still there you still want this person and I think you're you're very like you're confused about how to get them to see that you are all in that you're not going to you know behave in a way maybe that you behave before or the way that they have been treated before by other people um so regardless if you guys have options or not i feel like right now you're only looking at one and it's this person i feel because you see that you guys can have this this great relationship with this person okay that's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what's currently going on with them. What's currently going on with this person? Ace of Wands. This person's trying to start over. They want to do something brand spanking new. Okay. Um, and I'm feeling like, you know, you guys probably have 
um, if you haven't been with this person before, like this is not like a second breakup or whatever, um, they're still wanting to start anew. They're wanting to start over. Um, and I'm feeling like they're wanting to start completely new somewhere else is what I'm getting from this. Some of them want to start over with you, but... I'm getting, and not even as far as relationship is concerned, like they're wanting to do all new things, do things that they haven't done before, okay, whether it's with different relationships, with different people, not wanting to revisit exes, um, you know, just doing things totally different in their life, period, is what I'm getting from this, okay, hmm. Let's see what this says. I haven't asked a question yet. A lot of changes going on. Um, I feel like somebody here is um, really trying to get stature, like financial stature and confidence here. Hmm. Let's see what is it. Oh, okay. Influencing you guys. Oh, my. Thinking heavily about this. Thinking if there's something that you've done wrong. I don't think there's anything that you guys have done wrong. Honestly. I really don't. I think this person's just, um, I think they've been hurt before. And I think that they're just very leery of um, repeating any cycles. Any negativity. You know. Let's see what the outside influence is for them. Five of Wands. Yeah, they just do not want any conflict. They don't want um, any, let's say, they want to make sure the person that they're with, they're on the same page with, is what I'm getting here. Um, you know, it's like this. And I always say this about myself, like, I don't ever want to change anybody. I want somebody to come to me the way that they're supposed to be, the way that I need for them to be. I don't want to have to try to say, oh, I need for you to bring me flowers. Oh, I need for you to say I love you. You know, I need for that person to already be that way because I'm not trying to change anybody. And, I f and I'm feeling this type of energy here. Like, you don't want to have to argue and fight and have, you know, you want to be on the same page with someone because you can't change anybody. And and that's what I'm getting from this. They're, this person is just wanting, you know, everything to kind of flow very easily, you know, a natural flow, nat natural rhythm. And, um, and, and that's what they're looking for. That's what they're looking for, okay? Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What is coming in for Scorpio? What's coming in for Scorpio? Hmm. You're going to have to decide something here. Um, you're going to have to decide something here. Whether or not, very Scorpio energy. And take a look at yourself as well. And I'm, I'm just getting this because I think, you know, Scorpios, you guys can turn this around because what I'm sensing here and what I'm feeling very strongly I'm tingly all of my body is that there's a conversation I feel like that's been had between you and this person and I feel like they have you know vocalized to you guys what it is that they would like what it is that they expect in their life and I think it's it's really up to you um, whether or not you can meet that whether or not you even want to meet that can you meet that have you guys been bucking against some reasonable expectations from this person okay and I think this I think that's what judgment is because if so you can turn this around is what I'm getting you guys can turn this around only for those of you who feel like you know maybe this person's expectations aren't unreasonable. Maybe you were bucking against it because you didn't want to feel like, you know, this person was trying to tell you what to do. You know, only for those of you who feel that way. But I feel like you guys can turn this around if you are actually in this situation currently, okay? 
it's up to you guys. Judgment is coming in for you to look, take a look at yourselves in the mirror. Because whatever you decide here is going to have long-term consequences for you guys, okay? Let's see what's coming in for them. Because I feel like they've had their say. Is what I'm getting here. I feel like they've decided that you know they're they're not wanting to like take on a relationship by themselves, be in a relationship by themselves. You know, having these needs that you know that the other person's not meeting, and they're really not trying to fight for somebody to treat them a certain way. Otherwise, they they will start over. You know, they will start over. Let's see <clears throat> what's coming in for them. Queen of Pentacles. We saw the Queen of Pentacles, you know, jump out in the other deck. But um, this is this person starting to stand in their power, I feel. Um, you know, working hard, trying to get those things um, materially that they want, um, relationship that they want, because the Queen is committed, okay? They don't need a relationship, but this person does like commitment. If the conditions are preferable, okay? So that's what's coming in for them. Let's see what the blockage is for you guys. What is the blockage for Scorpio? The Three of Pentacles compromising, guys. Compromising. Again, for those of you who, you know, this person has spoken their expectations to you and um, you kind of shot it down or bucked against it because you didn't want to feel like this person was trying to tell you what to do, then this is a message for you. Compromise here. Okay, let's see what the blockage is for them. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Maybe it's, you know, not coming across aggressive because I kind of feel like they do. They kind of come off domineering. Um, maybe they come off very aloof when they speak. And I think it's to, like, you know, not come off as confrontational because I think that's what their blockage is that they come off a little confrontational and then it makes you guys feel like oh this person's just controlling you know this that and the other but um, I think that's what it is that they're not really and they're not telling you the whole truth and I think they're not telling you the whole truth because um, they feel like you already should know there's, there's something that they've put out there for you that they haven't just, you know, pinpointed every little thing, but they've given you enough to know what their expectations are is what I'm, I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what the advice is for Scorpio. What is the advice for Scorpio? The higher fat. Hmm. I think this, you know, the higher fat is all about learning and it's also about teaching and it's about sharing, you know, what it is that you know. Okay, and so I feel like, you know, this is like maybe a learning something from this person um, and also teaching this person something. This is all about compromising here, not losing yourself in this connection, standing in your truth, standing, you know, standing up for what you believe, but reasonably. Okay, that's what that is. So let's see what the advice is for them. What is advice for them? What is advice for them? Death. Hmm. Change and transformation. Endings. Maybe ending the aloofness. Ending the aggressiveness. Um, what, what comes across as aggressiveness. Maybe not making rash, you know, um, harsh decisions. Okay? Making rational decisions transforming you know the way they approach things okay that's what I'm getting here for them hmm. you have death you have judgment you have the ten of wands the ten of pentacles a lot of, lot of endings a lot of changing things around is what I'm getting here um, having a different point of view looking at something from someone else's point of view taking on some of the burden here devoting more time and energy to a connection is what I'm getting from your entire spread with you and this person okay let's see what the outcome is for you guys what is the outcome for Scorpio that one wanted to jump so I'll take it hmm 
looking inside of yourself, um, really not doing anything, I feel. Maybe a little self-sacrificing going on. Maybe, you know, you've gotten your feelings hurt a little bit with this person and you feel like there's nothing else that you can do, okay? But since listening to this reading, especially if it resonates for you, you do know that there's something that you guys can do, okay? You don't have to be stuck as the hanged man. Okay, the point of the hangman is not to just remain there and just say, oh, well, the point of the hangman is to kind of look inside of yourself, look at the world from an introspective point of view and see if there's something that you can do better, too. Okay, so that is the outcome for you guys. And let's see what the outcome is for them. What is the outcome for them? The five of cups feeling regretful, um, feeling hurt. Um, and I feel like. You know, there's something here. And maybe they have Scorpio in their chart too. Um, but I feel like this is um, them feeling like, you know, they'll never meet someone that will give them what it is that they are seeking, what they are looking for here. Okay? Feeling like, you know, they've put all this time and energy into past relationships and and they haven't really gotten, you know, gotten to be with that person that they feel like, you know, is the love of their life and they are the love of someone else's life is what I'm getting here. Okay, so we have um, we have any earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Leo, Sag, Pisces. Um, we have Gemini, I think I just said that, sorry. And of course you guys are here, um, Scorpio energy, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon, okay? But I, I you know, I get the feeling before I leave because I, I do feel like this could be something that is successful. Um, but it's like this, I think communication is is the key here in effective communication to be honest with you guys okay so i'm closing talk to you later